Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, back for my post-market wrap-up on this lovely day, Friday, March 16th, 2018. <laughs> Where to start? Uh, how about this? The stocks finished higher today. Um, the Dow put on about 70 points or so, but this week was a negative uh, about one percent across the board um, as I've been saying I got this week wrong no doubt about it um, you know but but one percent I mean really why is everybody panicking maybe a little over one percent but 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 think of what we're talking about here um, you got and I got people writing to me every single day uh, all throughout the day telling me that this is it the market's going down but Look, I have yet to see the evidence of a market top um, or, or anything along those lines. However, with that said, this coming week, this is Fed week, uh, we're going to hear, <laughs> we're going to hear, I don't even know how to put this, some kind of utterances, sounds come out of the mouth of the Federal Reserve regarding monetary policy this week. Now, I am on record saying that I believe the Fed is in fact going to raise rates this week. I have also gotten bombarded since that time with people telling me that I am wrong, that the Fed is not going to raise rates this week. Well, let's let me put a perspective on this just real quick. So, uh, well, the meeting starts on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday we're going to hear again whatever whatever comes out of their mouths. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, the Federal Reserve has to maintain the illusion that we are in the greatest recovery in the history of the world. This is what we've been hearing now, uh, well, for like a decade. Uh, and you know, the evidence obviously points in the opposite direction because the Federal Reserve is stuck. They, they haven't done anything um, meaningful with regard to raising rates. I mean, a little nudge here and a little nudge there with regard to the federal funds rate, which is, I believe, we're going to get. Now, the only question I have, and I'm going to say it here, um, again, I believe the Fed is going to raise rates this week. When I, when I say raising rates, I'm talking about the overnight rate, the federal funds rate, look this up. Um, the short end of the curve, they're going to nudge that up 25 basis points in my opinion. Could it go to 50 like a lot of people are saying? It could, but I think a 50 basis point raise to the federal funds rate will shock the market. What do we know? We know that the Federal Reserve does not want to shock this market. They want the market going higher. The president wants it going higher. Um, and they, they're off doing whatever they can do to foster an environment of risk. Despite the fact that today we saw bonds sell off. I mean, nothing dramatic, but that did happen. Go to my website, tradestrace.net, have a look at that chart. So. You know, this is in, in anticipation that the Fed is going to nudge rates th this week. So we need to watch that. There's, there's no doubt about it. And it's going to move this market, I think. But I would have to say this as well. The market is already priced in a small 25%, uh, 25 basis point uh, nudge to the federal funds rate. I don't think it's going to affect the market in any dramatic way. Uh, I, I, I'm not even going to try to put a, uh, a prediction on where the market's going to go this coming this week coming. Uh, no, no idea at this point. I got this week totally wrong, uh, no doubt about it. Speaking of getting things wrong, I closed Netflix here today with a realized loss. I posted it all over the place. Facebook, you see that little arrow here? Yeah, I'm up on this trade, but a fraction, uh, what I just looked at it, Point, point four three percent uh, gain. I was almost embarrassed to put this arrow here. 
Um, IBM, what a ride today. Uh, when I initially got in on that with a bunch of you, you guys and girls out here, when I posted it, boom, went right up. Like 11 or 12%, then just reversed and gave all that up. Well, uh, I think that has a lot to do with options expiration today. Um, but we'll see how this plays out next week. Again, I don't want to sound like a perma bull here, but I do believe because of the environment we're in, the fostered environment of risk, we are going to see stocks move higher. Now, we'll see. Again, uh, I've got this entire week wrong. I got a couple of trades wrong uh, over this week. And look, that's life. And I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. Uh, over over the uh, the longer run here, I mean, all of you know this to be true. I have ripped the face clean off of this market, and so have you. That have been getting in with me on these trades. We are going to have losing trades. There is no way out of it. If if there's any person on this earth that tells you that they don't have a losing trade, you look you know you're looking directly into the face of a liar. It's impossible to not have a losing trade or two or three, sometimes consecutive losses. That's the truth. Um, I've had strings over the year where I've lost like 10 in a row. Uh, and then you go, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? But then you'll have a streak where you, you won't lose for like you know, what, what seems like an obscene amount of time. Anyway, the big thing here, the Federal Reserve. There's a little character here I drew. I don't know if we can... Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh my God, the Fed. Anyway, all right. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today, everyone. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna watch this whole thing. It's gonna be an interesting show next week. We're gonna sit back and enjoy the show, the circus act, the charade, the fakery, the rigging. You name it. It's probably gonna hit a fever pitch this week. Um, so anyway, today's Friday. I am a happy guy that it's Friday. I'm happy this week is over, and I want all of you to. Uh, have a really great weekend. Care about each other, love each other, and be charitable. And that's the most, those are the most important things that we could possibly do. Forget about all this other stuff. This is just part of the show. All right, with that said, see you Monday morning. Bye.